Welcome to the channel, Rahat here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, March 25th to March 31st, A 2019. Uh, yeah, I got that one right. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Taurus star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level as well with every single different Taurus. But if you do want more personal touch, meaning, uh, you know, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give you some predictions for the future of that situation or for your life in general, that is a subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which starts from just as little as, say, $12. So, um, that being said, going to Taurus this week, the first card, which is the topic of Taurus this week, that is going to be uh, the uh, Eight of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation of what one should strain themselves of doing, that is to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation, displaying intentions in what, how one should tackle with the endeavors throughout the week, that is to be the Two of Pentacles, and the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the Guidance of Tarot, we do have the Page of Swords. So once again, uh, Eight of Pentacles, followed by the Seven of Cups, then the third card, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles, and the last one that we do have, that is to be the Page of Swords. All right, so uh, Taurus is, it does look like that this is going to be rather quite consuming week, in a sense of that um, you are not gonna die from boredom, uh, and you will always have what to do, that is displayed here with the Eight of Pentacles, which points that you should approach whatever enterprise or endeavors you are to face throughout the week with a uh, big amount of consciousness as well. Uh, kind of like have an eye for the subtleties in there. That is because uh, whatever actions you do or whatever, you know, performance you are, you are about to exert, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, is going to be... Um, marked by quite a big effectiveness, meaning that whatever you do is going to be very, very effective. Uh, that being said, this card as well um, points that what you have long time spent on planning now needs to be finally stirred. Being, you know, let's say that you are planning to go on a vacation with your family for quite a while, well then maybe this week is the week where you have to start making the arrangements and same goes for your uh, career as well and on a very profound level uh, the Eight of Pentacles it does point that now it's time for you to shine to step outside and to show for example that you are single and you want to be in a relationship once again or that you are in a good relationship and you are truly kind of like experiencing the blessings from it and uh, it's uh, with, with the Eight of Pentacles, guys, it's all about going through the ups and downs, you know, and making them way, way more manageable through, once again, um, approaching endeavor with a huge amount of uh, consciousness and as well, um, you know, having the eye for the subtleties in there. Uh, the accompanied card of the Eight of Pentacles, this is going to be the judgment. So the formation is uh, passive neutrals. And uh, it does depend what kind of a situations you are in, but with uh, this uh, particular formation, it does look like that you are going to be good at performing even outside of your field, um, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Quick example of that is if you have been asked to help some of your colleague, for example, uh, and uh, until this very moment, you don't have much of an experience, um, in whatever project your colleague is working, you are to find out that actually you can manage that with ease. So uh, the next card for you, Taurus, is this is how you should not approach the situation. That is to be the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups asks you here in this particular uh, follow-up to be very grounded and not go ahead of oneself. Even if the prospects are looking very great, you know, one being cocky and overconfident could uh, kind of like make one to do a, a mistake 
which is not going to be reversible should you find yourself into this um, into that standpoint you know making a mistake for example relationship wise saying something that you should have not said or you know career wise doing something that you should have not done without asking for an approval for example uh, it's not going to be irreversible um, you may experience a bit of a disappointment here and there but you are to be set back on track so pretty much but it seems throughout this week you are quite guarded and uh, invulnerable, invul invulnerable or invulnerable to um, invulnerable. I think it's the word. Yeah, to invulnerability to uh, making huge errors and uh, basically traversing one situation to a um, helpless one. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Ace of Cups. Formation is uh, passive uh, friends. And uh, once again, as we said, you should not get cocky. This Ace has more to do with the Eight of Pentacles, where we said that you need to have the Eye of the Sadotis. And this is a confirmation that exactly in the minor details, it is where you're going to find now, for example, the reason for a setback or the circumstances or the means for a major breakthrough, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And as well, these cards are uh, telling you not to uh, accept or rather like to, to take, you know, your position and your improvement for granted. Um, not letting down your guard or stopping to perform in the same level as you initiated in the week it is not acceptable so if you start to to work into a specific direction career or relationship wise for throughout the week you need to maintain the motion you need to maintain that speed of performance that you are uh, exerting at the very beginning of the week itself the uh, third card which is about the um positive intentions that you can have uh, for the Eight of Pentacles, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So Two of Pentacles asks you to be very playful and as well to have the ability to let go of, uh, let's say, static concepts. Okay, so this card here, it does point, like I said, having an eye for the minor details here. Maybe the resolution of your relationships, troubles, you know, or uh, the breakthrough of your project, it is not where you thought initially that is going to be. That's why with the two of pentacles, best results here for throughout the week is when one is playful and one has the ability to adapt to the situation itself as the situation changes throughout the week. So with the two of pentacles, we do have a confirmation that uh, the, the situation is going to be changeable. It's not going to be something static. Now, <clears throat> these minor changes are to uh, manifest themselves uh, as a kind of like small surprises there are going to be small changes that is in fact but it does depend what your perceptance is uh, for changes in one plan uh, one could take those changes as a setback you know and irritating details that are appearing here and there chores in other words that one needs to additionally take care of or one could accept those uh, changes as in a very adaptive dynamic which through which one can take advantage of the situation and traverse one situation, especially if a poignant one. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the um, Ace of Wands and the formation is uh, passive neutrals. So the, that card here, it is a confirmation that it is unlikely that you are going to lose control over your endeavors and over your enterprises in general. Should you not be frantic, you have to be adaptable and playful, but not frantic at all costs. And also this, uh, this card here asks you to uh, not take huge amounts of risks. That could, be take, that could be said as well when I saw the Eight of Pentacles because Eight of Pentacles is rather more meticulous card than risky, all right? And it's a little bit more slow movement than, um, than fast initiation and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, when, um, when you work upon your project or upon your relationship for throughout the week, if something looks a little bit risky and that is going to be a chaotic to be per performed, 
uh, that is unlikely a thing that you should uh, focus on guys but more like you should pay more attention to those things that you can fully control even if they are um, appearing as you go and last card here, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the uh, Page of Swords. So Page of Swords at the end points a couple of things. First of all, that your brilliance is going to give results. Page of Swords is always a, about one idea being manifested as a uh, productive outcome, is as a one idea being manifested through the original thinking of the one that incorporates the idea and additionally the page of uh, swords manifests itself as a person it does mean new source of help so even at the end of the week while you are kind of like being indulged and dived into the minor details should you face any difficulties at the end of the week you are to discover a, a new source of help in the face of uh, this person that will reveal you the path out of uh, out of difficulties. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the uh, devil card formation is active enemies. And it, again, another confirmation that you are not to lose control over anything. And before you decide what kind of approach you should take further after this uh, thing which took long time to be prepared is initiated, what kind of direction you're going to take on from there is going to be very carefully um, planned and analyzed before you actually um, jump forward into action. That is because with this formation, uh, the very negative um, manifestation of the devil where one always regrets one choice quick example here guys you know youtube let's say you have a, a two suitors at your disposal and you have to decide which suitor you should uh, go by with or which which suitor you should proceed on further you make your choice and a couple of days later you do have a, a little bit of a regret because you know you had to abandon a different option available so you are to diminish that kind of a negative feeling uh, within you through the um, analytic mind that you do have and as well uh, intellectual agility of yours at the end of the week being thoroughly researched through the minor details of and the, 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 having the eye for the subtleties for throughout this week as well. So uh, that being said, sources, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 24th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you do want more personal touches, this was a, a general reading and it was going to uh, resonate in a different way and level with every single different uh, Tauruses. Uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video for a, a private readings in which uh, we're going to discuss strictly your personal uh, situation. And I'm going to give you a, a prediction for its future. At, um, at the website, yeah, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of the services and their pricings, which are starting from just as little as $12. Rat signing up now. See you next time. Bye.